Welcome back. I'm Michael Gross. USSSA softball has brought a couple hundred teams and a few thousand players to southwest Indiana. Eyewitness News' Colin Davies is there at Bossy Field for the last professional game of the event. And Colin, what's going on out there at Bossy Field? Yeah, well, the Pride ended up winning this one tonight, but it's not really about the result of the game as the impact it's had on the fans watching here at Balsy Field. I'll step out of the picture, show you the fans are getting to interact with some of their favorite players, getting autographs, and also getting to speak to them. And they've been watching them throughout the week, getting to learn, which the players in the stands have been saying has been an absolute delight. This is really fun. I mean, watching these girls is learning. There's things we need to learn, <laughs> especially not slamming our bats, no attitude, um, not keeping our heads down, keep our heads up. Yeah, it's just really fun. Well, it was really nervous getting to Nationals, but after we played our first game and won, I think it was less nerve-wracking, but it was just super exciting to come here. Of course, these players have traveled from all over Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and Missouri to get the opportunity to play here and also learn in southwestern Indiana. Of course, a hot spot for softball with Tecumseh and North Posey winning their softball state championships just about a month ago. So while the pros are done playing tonight, the USSSA players here behind me will continue playing throughout the rest of the week. Reporting from Balsy Field for Eyewitness News, I'm Colin Davies. Back to you.